I'm just on a little walk now with mom. And today is my spring break day. <laughs> Basically, the university doesn't want people leaving, going getting COVID and bringing it back. So they're not giving us a spring break. We get three random days off <laughs> throughout the semester. And today's one of those days. So stayed home, got out of my pajamas at like almost one o'clock. It's very nice. And now we're just down at the refuge taking a walk. You can probably hear us walking on all the ice and snow this whole week. Like the first week of March has been springish weather. It's so nice. The highs have been in the 40s yesterday it was like 56 tomorrow is gonna be upper 50s sunny blue sky it's so nice out such a nice change from the dreary winter but i don't know if it's gonna stay i hope it is because i'm ready for spring it feels so nice Hey, good morning. It is Saturday today. I'm not wearing any makeup today, as you can probably completely tell. I'm having a lot of breakouts on my chin again. It's just like, oh my gosh. But on weekends, um, I really do not wear any type of makeup at all um, to give my skin a break. And I mean, even throughout the week, I just have days where I'll just put on um, a powder foundation just to get rid of the shine and mattify things a little bit um, but even on days that I do wear makeup it's usually just a tinted moisturizer that doesn't clog my pores and then a powder on top and that's it so it's not like I wear a heavy foundation every day by any means but on the weekends I really just want my skin to breathe and give it a break from putting product on it I'm not gonna <laughs> put makeup on just for a video at all so anyway um I don't even know why I said that I have tons and tons of videos where I'm not wearing any makeup anyway I did want to mention my thoughts on cancel culture I feel like it acts like such a divide between people and groups and opinions and we already have so much divide going on in the world why participate and create things that are going to even further divides and multiply them it's just it doesn't make sense to me also nobody is perfect everyone makes mistakes i know that's so cliche i mean no one on this planet can say they're perfect no one can say they're a perfect person and have never done anything wrong and it's just weird to me that it's people think it's up to them to teach them a lesson you're not you're not their mother what are you doing? It's just, it's really strange to me. And honestly, it goes against the whole act and power of forgiveness and second chances. And, you know, I am a firm believer in a God that gives second chances and infinite number of chances. And forgiveness is such a powerful tool. If we didn't have that, I don't even want to think about where we would be. We would have no hope. We would constantly be drowning in our own, like, disgusting acts. It doesn't make sense to me why you would try to punish someone for something that you probably have done or have done similar things or you've just done other things, you know, that are not okay as well. And honestly, it's just a sad thing to see. And especially once people acknowledge that what they did was wrong. I mean, what more can you really do? You're, from then on, you're punishing like a past person. People can grow and change and it's just really strange why you would be trying to hold that over them. I mean, if you personally don't want to support someone or associate with them whatever that might look like um due to due to their stances or actions and that's completely fine i just don't think we should be making it a worldwide thing where everyone has a stance on the particular issue at hand and it's just causing more divide that we don't need just more judgment and just more drama 
honestly, I feel like that's at the heart of it is just drama and it's, yeah, I'm not even going to get into non-human examples like Dr. Seuss and Mr. Potato Head and uh, a certain Disney movie like cartoons. That's a whole nother thing in itself. And I really don't talk about things that are happening in the world today just because there's so much of it and I am so disturbed by so much of it and just just anxious about it and it just it blows my mind each time I just like go through the news. <laughs> that is one of the things that I do for myself is I spend a lot of time off of the news and not looking at the news because it's just sometimes I just don't even see the point of doing so because I feel so powerless when I do and it just adds like a heavy veil over me. Um, I don't know, I'd rather focus on things that I can change and that I can do. But yeah, so those are my thoughts and opinions on that.